Working out and staying healthy is a very important aspect of many people's lives, but if we are not careful, it can lead to unexpected illness. The gym environment provides a haven for bacteria and germs to grow. Areas such as showers, lockers, hot tubs, pools, and even water coolers are incubators for fungus and such. My name is Kayla Steen. I'm the co-head women's basketball coach. I'm a part-time instructor in the activities, um, HPE athletics, and uh, and I work in Central Issue, which is down here, run out of the weight room, kind of controlling um, locker assignments, towels distribution, just kind of random stuff like that. As far as rules in the weight room, there's uh, on the entrance as soon as you walk into the weight room, there's a whole uh, list of, of rules. Some of the uh, main ones are that we like to make sure people are abiding by is obviously closed-toed shoes. We don't want anybody to have an app weight accidentally drop on somebody's foot. Um, making sure that you're wearing proper workout attire. We don't allow jeans because it tears up a lot of material on the benches. Um, important, the most important ones are probably going to be you, you have to make sure that you're wearing um, a, a shirt of some sort that covers the front and the back. Um, there's been times where we make sure that it's got to be a full sleeved uh, t-shirt and that's just for the protection of the people who are coming in to use the facility. Um, depending on the times of the year and whether or not we think there might be, people might be at higher risk for, for something um, is kind of when we decide whether or not, okay, maybe just regular cutoffs are okay if you'd rather feel more comfortable versus having to have a full sleeve on. But um, those are some of the main ones as far as proper uh, attire. There's always the etiquette things that we like to try and focus on with um, making sure that you're um, being sanitary in the weight room, wiping down things when you get done. Uh, we prefer to people wipe it down before and after just in case to protect themselves. But, you know, it's not everybody really wants to do that every time. So um, we keep a monitor in here as much as possible throughout the day during those open weight room hours so that they can watch people and make sure that they are actually wiping things down and suggest to them if they see them not wiping it down. So we're just trying to, trying to keep things as, as sanitary and stuff as possible. And it's just a, an etiquette for the next person who has to use it. You don't really want to step onto a, a bench of somebody that just got done sweating all over it and didn't clean it up. So there's also uh, there's showers in both uh, and it, they have full access to all of that stuff to go ahead and, and shower before or after whenever they'd like to. It's available uh, during any time during the open weight room hours. There are open weight room hours every day. Um, typically we close early on Friday, but we've actually extended the hours Monday through Thursday to kind of tailor to everyone's different schedules. We, uh, we are open till 8 o'clock um, Monday through Thursday, and typically there's an eight hour time span from either noon to eight or one to eight uh, every single one of those days. There's also a couple of days, Mondays and Wednesday mornings, um, which kind of uh, to tailor around the morning schedules where people can get in to lift in the mornings instead of having to just work in the afternoons. My name is Josh Cox. I go to the health class, uh, HPE 295 with uh, Mr. Fisco. Half the period we're in class and half the period we're in the weight room. I like the Clackalinus weight room because it has everything that a regular gym has, but you know, it's cheap and yeah, totally affordable. It's great, so I like that. And uh, the equipment seems like it's pretty nice. I think the etiquette's actually pretty good because people are really good about cleaning up after themselves. They have those wipes and, and spray bottles and towels set out for everything. So you're able to clean up the equipment. So it's, okay. depends on you. While the benefits of working out and staying healthy far outweigh the risks, we cannot be too liberal when applying the sanitizer of good hygiene to our workout routine. This is Greg Showard signing off with Clackamas News Online.